Well, welcome back to Magic the Gathering. This is our draft for Ravnica Allegiance. Let's see. Let's see our hand. We've got two forests. We have a gruel. Our hand doesn't really cater towards that too. Unless we draw opponent, we, we're out on the draw. Do We don't have a turn one place. So we can try and risk it. I'm going to keep. Hmm. Okay, hopefully. We haven't had any success yet. We need a mountain drop. We have seven of them in our deck, essentially, because of the gruel gate. Um, if we can get all, if we get just three for us, we can play that. We can play him, which means we can actually just flip it and turn it into a 4 4. Our lands into 4 4s. For a turn. We didn't get the mountain, so we go back over to you. He's got a Simic, so he has potentially got some counter spells in there because of the blue, some flyers. So he's green, blue. Does he have a third color? Am I am I playing it wrong by not going into three colors? Well, sticking with two is the right choice. I don't know. Um, next, because I this is bad. I will get rid of that. We're not getting the land I want. Oh no. I just I thought because we're on the draw we could get it. We just need one. One. It was a good hand. He sees the red and he's like, ooh. He might not be out. I could I should have dropped the steeple creeper out, I guess. That that's a useful card, but it's not useful in our situation. If we get one more mana, we're playing the Grawl Locket, and then we have our red fixing. Sweet. When a gate enters the battlefield under your control, gateway camper blocks when gateway sneak deals combat damage to a player draws a card. Oh. Oh. So he gets to draw a card. But we get our frenzy guy out. And I think we're gonna give him plus one plus one on him. So he's a 4-4 four, four with Trample, and he can become a 7-4. Ooh, that's going to be strong. Like, we ditch that, so he knows that we have a D-Face in our card, but how many do we have? And we have the mana open. Okay, that goes through. He gets to draw a card. He has his mana drop for the turn. He got it. He gets to play a four drop. He gets to scry. Cool. Bottomed. Okay. Yes, two mana open can still do something. Alright. He can counter it. He's got the blue mana open. Oh, damn. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that at all. Alright. Hits me for three. Draws a card. Okay. So we have five mana open, which means if he has that counter spell again, if he has another quench. Because quench is a thing, I completely forgot that card existed, and he had the blue mana open. I should have opened with one of these. What's that? Whenever a non-creature token has a bit on your go, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature... Ooh, okay. Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't have any mana open. Okay, he's looking at the steeple creeper. 
which means I can give it flying if I had blue, but I don't have blue. Your gateway stink is you have to play gates for it to actually hit me now. Because I got stuff on the board. Okay. Okay, we have a way to deal with the gate colossus. But he could potentially be holding onto a gate to bring it back. You may put gate colossus from your graveyard on top of your library. Okay. It means he has to draw and it would have sickness. Or we let eight damage go through. <laughs> Well, we can't really, actually. Well, we could let it through once, but not anymore after that. Okay, I can hit. Damn it. Alright. Okay, so that's the only one that's going through. No point bringing you out because so he can actually adapt that next turn which is annoying which becomes a 9-9 nine nine. oh god um all right we're flooding the board we have two guys that can deal with the gate courses by themselves we have enough guys on the floor to deal with the buffed up Scuttle Gator. Because it comes a 9 9, we have 3 6 10. But does he. Yeah, he has 3 4 5 6 7 mana and it costs. It costs 8. He's 1 mana short. Oh. And we can turn that guy into a, essentially a 4-4, four, four, so... He probably has a combat trick. In reality, he could let it die, then just do play a gate. Yep. Goes back on top. He draws that next turn. He can play it next turn. But that means he can't buff up the scuttle. Will a creature card from among them and put it into you? Oh, so okay, that's that's how he does it. Yep. And he plays the Gate Colossus this turn. 
Hmm. Oh, that's just going to be painful. Um... We could potentially have lost this. I don't. I don't think we. Well, we do have some counters to it, but we're not drawing enough, and we haven't got the stuff that we needed, which is annoying. Um, if we had our enchantments down, that gave us our non-token creatures. Uh, riot. Whew. Yep, five five in the air. None of my reach guys are out. Pass to attackers. Five in the air. Hmm. Like we can't even get through his uh, blockade at the moment. Defending the camp block a gay colossus, that's just like ugh. We got our reach. But he has a counter spell. If it's quench we can pay the cost. Come on. Really? I've paid to. Come on. If I hit resolve... There you go. Okay. And he's got another quench probably. No? Not because it costs two. He doesn't have the open mana. Whew. No attacks. Why is my computer doing this to me today with all the encoding issues with the OBS? Oh, I might do have to turn on my settings. Okay, he has six in the air. Do we let the five through for now? No. The smartest decision is to actually prevent the five damage. He has another flight, which can become a three, four. I'm gonna let that through. I'm going to let that through. He has counter spells. I probably open because he's got all these god. And we can prevent some damage this turn, but not all of it. That gate Colossus has screwed us. If he didn't have that, we would be throwing in. 
we have to block the 5 5 with our reach. Resolve. He could just swing in with everything. I'll let you have it. Oh well. <laughs> We're clearly not going to be making back many things probably with this deck. Oh. But that is the end of the episode. Do you guys think I should have conceded earlier or not? I don't know. I don't know what's the right play there. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button some more. Hit the notification to keep up to date. And... I'll see you guys next time.